Several years ago, my father drove us southwest for twelve hours to visit my grandparents on Thanksgiving. They live in a gated community with enormous houses and immaculate sidewalks, with very few disturbances. We stayed there for a week. We had our meal and saw our family, but eventually my father got bored, as he often did, and took us on a walk around the neighborhood, as he often did. It is always under construction. Some wealthy person is always building a new house to fit their car collection or whatever else they own, and there usually are workers milling about. But not that day. It was a holiday, and they were absent. And so we trespassed in a house which was not yet finished, as we often did. And once inside the house, my father, who knows a few things about architecture, said that it was built a bit oddly. There were rooms with no obvious purpose, and hallways that went nowhere, and a little doorway which opened into a crawl space along one side. And in a few rooms, written on a door frame, one could read scrawled in black marker, or possibly blue in one instance, the writer's reproduction of a biblical passage, all of which related usually directly to houses or homes or the relation between them. In any house's skeleton, one can usually still find the basement, and on many occasions, I have myself descended into what my father jokingly refers to as the deep dark hole where they put the bad kids. But in this house, unusually, it was not possible, as in the midst of the ground floor, where we presumed the basement door would be, was a door frame flanked by two quotes, the only place in the house with two. In an aperture obscured by brown paper almost completely, except for a small tear in the middle, through which one could see only utter, impenetrable darkness.